So this is the Dunable Cyclops DE. It's half the price of a USA custom Cyclops from Dunable and it's made in Korea. It sounds like this. <laughs> Just like PRS have their SE series, Dunable now have a DE series, a cheaper version of their custom made guitars. I've been eyeballing Dunable guitars for a while and especially the Cyclops. It kind of reminds me of several Queens of the Stone Age guitars, like a hybrid of a Maiden Echo Park and a Motor Ave. And the Cyclops DE has that vintage and modern hybrid mojo that I really like and I think a lot of other guitar players are into. I will leave a link down below for all the specs, but some key ones are a C-shaped neck, a Graf Tech Tusk Nut, so you don't have to immediately swap out uh, the nut, coil split humbuckers and a tunomatic trapeze bridge, which I'll talk a bit more about in a second. And it has a mahogany body and neck. <laughs> Humbuckers are Dunable Chulu, I believe, humbuckers, and they sound like normal good humbuckers. And by that I mean that they don't have that extra clarity I mentioned in some previous guitar reviews, where the humbuckers have more definition than normal. And is it a problem that these are more normal? Uh, no because they are very good humbuckers and they are great for driven and heavy sounds, which I think this guitar is it, it's sort of made for that. And if you need that extra clarity, you have that coil split. Nice. <laughs> So what do I like about the Dunable Cyclops DE? I like the overall looks and feel of the whole guitar. I mean, if you are familiar with this channel and me and what I like, you, you know that this is a extremely good fit for me. I also think that this finish, 
uh, the tobacco burst is the best fit for me. You also have some other ones. I like the trapeze bridge, how it looks, but keep in mind that you will get the same ringing and overtones as you do from Jazzmasters and Jaguars. I don't mind it, but if you need a very tight sound, you might want to put something around the strings, like here to tame it. Overall, the guitar feels like a very solid and good instrument, except a thing that I will mention in the next part. And it sounds just like how you want an awesome rock and roll guitar to sound. I haven't tried a custom shop Cyclops, so I can't compare it to that one, of course, but for the price of this one, you get a lot. Is there anything that I don't like? Well, this is like the third factory made guitar I've received recently with issues with the electronics. The sound comes and goes, so basically exactly the same issues as with the other guitars. I was able to fix uh, this one with opening up the guitars and pulling the wires a bit. Not sure what it was. And the guitar is made in South Korea. Not sure if it's the same factory as the other guitars I've had issues with, but they were also made in South Korea, so maybe. So there's nothing with the guitar that feels cheap. So it's kind of surprising that this is an issue. It can be just this guitar, of course. But for me, it seems like there's a lack of quality or quality control on the electronic parts on the factory made guitars that I've tried recently. And the same goes for this one. And I don't think whether a guitar works or not should be the difference between a handmade guitar and a factory made guitar. Uh, and this is a very fine instrument, so it deserves to have electronics that works, of course. Here are the solo tracks from the intro song. Check out the guitar in the link down below. And I honestly still recommend this guitar despite the rant about the electronic issues. I, I mean that. Thanks for watching and goodbye.